Yo, welcome back to my playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy on PlayStation 5. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave it a like. Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please make sure you're subscribed. Uh, today, we got to go uh, meet Sebastian at the Overlook. Um, last time, we did a bunch of other stuff uh, with Lopgog um, and some few other people. Uh, continuing on the main quest line today. Uh, let's get to it. Oh, trees, rocks. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous in the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, yeah. that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. Oh. You know this area well. And hmm. while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Revelio. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Patricus Tartanus. Who's there? One less human to worry about. No one saw the video. Do, do, do. Okay. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Revenue. The wizards will have no choice but to submit to us. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. Revelio that was relatively fun. Oh, 
All right, into the mine. Silent as a grave. For better or for worse, we're in. Seems quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Petrarchus Titanus. It's all around. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. any goblins in these webs too disgusting for even a spider to prey on how many of Ranrock's loyalists are in here too many they definitely think there's something here they want Revelio. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Uh, Accio. yes. Wingardium Leviosa. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Good for you. Rebellion. I'll take all that good stuff. That bridge has seen better days. Read the world of another spider. Confirmed. Us. Sleep better tonight. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared Blubendo. Lumos. Lumos. Ow. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. 
Couldn't find them. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? You're making this you say Let me I won't rest until nice try. Descendo! Yeah. Oh. Levioso! Bring up! Let's get this out! No! Protego! I will make you pay! Levioso! Descendo! Stupid! Stupid one! We're not finished yet! Let Certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Petrificus ah, Totalus. There's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known for. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Okay, cool. The world floated, floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? I remember his eyes, empty, empty of sorrow, yes, but also, I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish. But then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither fell, I neither fell nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing, I can only hope. It is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have? Revelio. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. 
Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think mm -hmm. he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Yeah, right here. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in mm. fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but mm -hmm. not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. I wondered if you might teach me. Uh, on. Let's speak again soon. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's pissed. He's pissed that uh, uh, Lobgog and me were uh, working together. I hope Professor Fitz. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Oh, cool. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, mm. if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. Okay. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, <laughs> broom, of course. Broom, I shall look forward mm. to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. All right, let's head Perhaps on now. Perhaps test out when you upgrade on the way. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. 
Hufflepuff, over here. Hello again, Imelda. This mm. course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's you should. Actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose, Hufflepuff. That wasn't too difficult. Brilliant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, geez. It. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. Like it. This is going well. Oh, boy. Flying, if I do say so myself. Cool. <laughs> this is rather fun. Could have been better, but I beat her time. That's all that matters. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puzzlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Ooh. Said it was a Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. Mm. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. 
herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> Not bad. For a Hufflepuff. Aw, oh, I think you we made a friend. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. All right. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. How's my favorite test flyer? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Cool. Couldn't have done this without you. Ah, <sighs> good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Okay, since we're right here, let's go ahead and talk to Natty. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Yes, I am. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Mm. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Nice. Okay, cool. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What oh. do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Really? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. 
Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Mm, I see. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Already there. <laughs> Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our baking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in working together, but we expect a response by week's end. Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check for... Uh, please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well secretly engaged these past six months oh we haven't told mr hill yet i dare say he has higher hopes for her harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with rosie not to mention my employment here depended upon my cooperation what does he ask you to do it all happened so quickly in an instant he took a very expensive scarf from the counter pocketed it and smiled he said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. Mm. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Hmm. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd uh. see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. 
As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Revelio. <laughs> okay, nothing. Nothing else in there. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. Hmm. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. Mm. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Alohomora. After this level three lot. Revelio. the natty my mother used to say I was lazy It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Yes. Rebellion. Field guide. Good thing the ministry.
That he must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Revelio. Oh, really? Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quick. Mm. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! Hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. this job and be done with it. Waste of time, this is. Patrificus Totalus. I raided Brockborough more times than I can count. They're incapable of defending themselves. Nothing but trouble. Battle. What? Hmm. what? Uh. Revelio. And right so. Oh, Somebody out there? Finish the job. Expulso! I quit now. Expulso! Confringo! Quite conductive, aren't we? Oh, what's the nice? Let me open. Oh. Expulso! Let me open. You little Expulso! Confringo. Take a pain for your teeth. 
book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. Got it. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Revelio. Ah, and here's the letter. My dear darling Otto, I've read your le last letter over and over and recently again. Okay. Here we can be shared with those whom we love. This is uh, the past months have been sure. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Rebellion. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I just... <laughs> we should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Yeah, <laughs> Flash of inspiration. Good job, thing, aren't you? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, expulsion! Ow. What are you folks on? Energy. Levioso. Descendo. Give it back. <laughs> Revelio. That he must be here somewhere. I had left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you need to do. Revelio. Alohomora. Ah, his wand. The rape. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. Yep. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Excellent. Revelio. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. 
I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Awesome. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Oh, I'm ready. And officer singer and put an end to Harlow one once and for all. Oh, Nuts good. I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Is Officer Singer on the take? Like, is she bought and paid for by the Ashwinders? With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Mm. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. I don't know. I don't know about Officer Singer. Hmm. I'm truly all for what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by spin witches when you can. New instruments are expensive, you know. Thank you. Enjoy the show. This might be enough. Hmm. Nice. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Oh. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Nice. Broom is fully upgraded now. Very cool. All right. Uh, I guess next is off to go see Poppy. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, mm. I suppose. All right. Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing it's almost unnerving i suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience that's exactly the right word i just never mind what is it it's nothing truly i've 
We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. Mm. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Pretty cool. They look awesome. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Yes, sir. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Mm. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Mm -hmm. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. Cool. I'll let you know what I find. All right, we'll do Poppy. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. All right, now, as we wait for our companions to get back to us on their, you know, their quest and their task, let's, uh... Go in here, back to the map room, the map chamber. Talk to this former headmistress of Hogwarts. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. Mm. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, 
Is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay, cool. Now we gotta sneak into the headmaster's office. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. What are you up to now? You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Okay, we will do that. After after this, Natty. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered mm -hmm. each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. Hey. A Polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Mm. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? <laughs> Simon Convincing. Bag. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Oh, I wonder what, what, what fun we can get up to as Professor, Bla uh, as Professor Black. Do you have a moment, Professor? Uh-oh. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. 
I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Uh. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. If you uh. must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. <laughs> That's great. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. <laughs> Professor Black, how are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, <laughs> sir? <laughs> you don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Dittany and Puba Tuba Pass. Moustache paste. This is I great. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor. A word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now. Where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Oh, this is great. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? <laughs> it's not about anything I've been doing. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. 
They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. <laughs> This is too good. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? Oh. <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... um... thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Ah, oh, fantastic. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that man. <laughs> that ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Scrope! Oh, a greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... uh... Master does remember it. Mm. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Uh, Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. The pot. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in... Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh. oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. 
That was hilariously awesome fun. That was good. That was a good time. I enjoyed that. Oh, and look at all the Hufflepuff banners. <laughs> uh, stuck at other houses. Oh, Natty's down here. Okay, but we're going to the headmaster's office. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Awesome. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Sleeping portraits. Ah, the sorting hat. The Shannon hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as a means of which students could be would be placed into one of the four school houses skilled at legitimacy. The sorting hat can see into the wearer's head. Allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. Revelio. Alohomora. Dear Phineas, the children have been asking about your return. Belvina, in particular, chooses to do so each day at breakfast and is engulfed in sulk when I remind her that you are ensuring the quality of her future education. Sirius and Phineas rarely send me an owl, although when they do, they never mention you. I'm certain they're proud of you and all that you're doing for Hogwarts, having one's father as Headmaster is a s tremendous honor. Merlin, help me. Uh, Agnes is now crawling and follows Arcturus around like an unwelcome shadow. Arcturus is begging for an invisibility potion, and frankly, I can't blame him. I'd be tempted to brew one if it weren't for the internal sniveling that uh, Simeus would regal me with. Perhaps we shall see you during the next school holiday. But please don't feel any obligation. We can manage. Ursula. Ursula. Okay. <laughs> it's close by Revelio Alohomora Oh, wow. Professor Black, regarding your letter dated the 20th of September, I shall not reconsider the admission process at Hogwarts. Regards, Ferris Spain Minister of Magic London. 
Revelio. Uh, this is definitely a room with a view. Revelio. It must be in that other room that I can't get to yet. Or it's right in here somewhere. It must be above me. Yeah, it must be above me. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. Receipt. Hair tonic. Mustache wax. Um. Hominade. Comb. Pearl handle. Back scratcher. Gold handle. Box aside. Paid in very small part. My anger to be built mystery. Oh, there's another. I guess this is the note that I just picked up. That must be the pedestal. All right. Oh, we're going inside the book. Okay. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Trippy. Cautiously, use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Oh, are we? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. This is going to be the Tale of the Deathly Hollows. Excuse me. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. Nope, nope, nope. 
I see. A staircase straight ahead. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. Let me go. Go. Let's go time. It's no time to watch. Let's go, go, go. While I can, Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. No. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. my chance that's the way forward awesome can this be I think I'm invisible see me at all. I can get closer to them.
This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Ooh, the Elder Wand. Defender, the 
Finder. Bombarder. Protego. Stupid one. Bombarder. Stupid one. Depulsor. Descender. Stupid one. Protego! Stupid one! Bombarder! Defender! Stone. This must be for me. Ah, uh, yep, and then the resurrection stone. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. No. She's gone. Neve's dead. Dear sweet Neve. <laughs> Neve. We won't be the same without her. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. I think that was my favorite trial so far.
Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw can... what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. That's terrifying and not good at all. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, let's uh let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. I'd seen the car's tower countless times. Never seen. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes, hi, hello. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. Mm. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. Makes more I sense see. why he's such an awful, angry mood. The knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. That's fine. Take your time. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's mm. more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Ooh. 
all right cool we'll we got well we completed the third trial did some side missions with some uh with some of our friends uh i'm gonna pause it right there and that's where we're gonna end today and we'll continue on next time i had a lot of fun that trial was really cool we got to see the deathly hollows in a book form i like the the change in art style that was really cool um uh, but if you guys also if you enjoyed the video please make sure you leave the video a like let me know in the comments and if you haven't yet please make sure you subscribe helps out the channel a whole lot thank you guys for all the support it means a lot to me hope you're doing fantastic and i'll see you guys in the next one peace